What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman, aka Allfires. Now, at the end of last year when Marvel Studios announced yet another Marvel Phase 4 slate delay coming less than a year after COVID knocked them off the rails for over a year, they basically took every Marvel film and moved it over one release date. And at the time, Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige referred to it as a quote, change in production schedule which is about as ambiguous as you can leave it and definitely on purpose, but it isn't hard to look past that explainer knowing what we know about what's going on behind the scenes for these films, the extensive reshoots, the rewriting on the scene, the test screenings both internally and externally means that it's just a longer process in getting these films that hold so much weight done. And the reason I say that, the Multiverse of Madness is meant to clean up all the explainers from the beginning of Marvel Phase 4 and how exactly the multiverse works, presumably setting the groundwork for how the whole Kang saga is going to go off. Also, Wakanda Forever, Black Panther 2, rest in peace Chadwick Boseman, finding a way to pick up the pieces and get this film done. We have a rumor that was sort of taken out of context coming from a trusted industry insider source about Marvel's The Film and Wakanda Forever switching release dates, but that's not exactly what the insider said. While it could be a likely scenario given what's happened with Marvel in the last year, and we'll talk about that a little bit, I'm going to tell you exactly what this industry insider said about the possibility of that, and the good news is for the rest of the slate, it looks like it'll be right on time. We're breaking down this most recent report that in fact, the Marvels and Wakanda Forever could end up switching spots on the Marvel release slate, but first, if you could grab the subscribe button, we do daily Marvel content at the channel, that's all we do, so if that sort of thing's for you, hit the sub button, leave a comment down below, that automatically enters you for the PS5 giveaway, we're also giving away comics daily over on my Instagram, you can see the handle down in the right hand corner at I am Fires. follow me over there and if you want stick around to the end of the video we'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there so if you guys have followed my channel for the last year or so while this is a fan channel and I do a lot of op-eds and write my own opinions about things when it comes to journalism I like to do two things number one I don't just take an Instagram post or somebody's second or third reposting of what somebody said I like to find the original source always give them credit when I'm reporting on it and I hate when sometimes they're taken drastically out of context especially for industry insiders where a lot of these reports are not only coming via their editorials but just email blasts on Patreon and or Twitter, it's going to make them less likely to say anything in the future and be more gun shy if we're constantly taking what they say out of context. I opened up my Instagram this morning to see several places reporting that Black Panther Wakanda Forever and the Marvel's quote unquote will swap release dates, but that's not what was said at all. This actually came via a series of tweets from Big Screen Leaks, that's at Big Screen Leaks on Twitter, they're an industry insider, this is what they had to say exactly, quote, Black Panther 2 was meant to wrap this month, but they still need to shoot in Puerto Rico. The film has been shooting on and off for almost a year now, and I don't see it making a November release, to which somebody else retweeted back, how likely is it that they would delay Thor then till November? And he said, I don't think they will, if anything, Black Panther 2 and the Marvels will swap places. But it started with, if anything, only in response to his opinion that he doesn't think it's going to make the November release. Well guys, it's literally only the beginning of March. And unless they somehow face what happened with Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, as we've heard rumors they basically reshot the entire film, it seems like they should be able to handle that picture lock and do the final CGI by the end of the year. I can confirm they are still doing reshoots for Black Panther 2, one of the casting grids that goes out amongst the industry insiders for people who hope to grab those roles, just went out real recently for two new roles for Black Panther 2. So those shoots are still happening, but it's still well enough early in the year for it to make the release date. And the whole Marvels and Black Panther swapping places was only in response to his own opinion it might not make the release date in the first place. What I will say, and what I mentioned in the prologue, is that we have heard this sort of movie by committee about Marvel now for a while. And first of all, don't get me wrong, as someone who's been both in front of and behind the camera, movies, film, no matter how small the budget, is the most collaborative process on the planet. As a musician who only works with a producer and maybe say one or two musicians, if that, it is hard to get anything done, let alone the hundreds and thousands of people who go into making a film. So it's already movie by committee every time it's done, but with Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. We've had reports of both internal pre-screenings and external pre-screeners. People have said that they've reshot the entire film. We know this definitely happened for No Way Home. Benedict Cumberbatch has even weighed in on himself about how Marvel will be changing the script on the spot. We're at a much different place in the MCU now. A lot of these films, especially Multiverse of Madness, 
Black Panther 2, they hold a lot of weight not just for the characters and the fans, but they have to serve a lot of purpose in Marvel Phase 4. We've had some filler, we've had some pieces put in place, but now we actually have to get the utility out of these films pushing the sagas forward. We expect a lot of introductions in Black Panther 2, Namor, Doctor Doom, maybe even Wolverine as I reported two years ago. Yep, that's true, we'll recover that scoop here soon on the channel. Regardless, with all of this heavy lifting to do, not only do they have to do the fan service and service by the character in the way that we hope for Marvel films, but they've also got to do the heavy lifting of the explainers and setting up the sagas. They want to get that right. That's why you have so many reshoots, internal screenings, and really, this is a labor of love. There are so many executive producers who are giving notes on the scripts. That's why there's so many rewrites. Trying to understand the actual scope of putting a film, even just one of these Marvel movies together, is insane. The number of people, the amount of money spent, the amount of moving parts that have to work in concert to get this all done, that's why as fans we get to just enjoy it, and I really try hard not to have an opinion about that stuff, especially when it comes to this. I don't want to judge Marvel. It's easy to explain it away as they have extensive CGI and reshoots and they just can't get it together, but really, and as I've said multiple times, Guys, we are lucky as fans that they keep giving us these slates. Look, you don't have to move things around on a production schedule if there's no public production schedule in the first place. We didn't have to know that Black Panther 2 was set to come out at the end of this year the way they gave us, you know, three years ahead in the slate announcements they've been doing. They do that because they know the fans want that and they want to give it to us, but it would be much easier for them to work sort of in silence and just give us a couple of movies down the road. That way, as they had to make adjustments to this, the delays aren't public and really no movie studio ever has ever had to answer these sort of questions that they've created for themselves because the real reality is no movie studio has ever made it this far uh, and guys we're better for it look if they keep delaying the movies if they go back to three movies a year if they have to spread them out for me i'd rather them get it right not leave gaping plot holes like some of the ones that exist in the infinity saga and just asking us to kind of ignore them if they can sew something up if they can make something solid Go for it, especially when the multiverse is so tricky in the first place. You don't want plot holes left wide open. It can make the story completely fall apart. Guys, let me know all your thoughts down below about either of these. Which one are you more hyped for, the Marvels or Wakanda Forever? And do you agree with me that if delays need to be made to make the films right, go ahead and delay them, suckers. We're still going to come whenever they come out anyway. Let me know all your thoughts down below in the comments. Quickly, let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. All right, we're still giving away PlayStation 5s every 20,000 subscribers all the way up to a million. The next one's at 960. All you have to do to be entered to win, hit the sub button, leave a comment down below because it's truly random. The more videos you comment on, the better chance you have of winning. All winners will be announced at the end of videos the same way we're doing here. The best way to keep up with the content has always been to hit the notification bell with all notifications turned on. And as always, if you liked today's video, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the like button. My name's Michael Roman. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Fires. We're giving away daily comics all month over on my Instagram. You can also follow me on Spotify, YouTube, Amazon, Apple, under the name All Fires. I do original music there, and while I'd sincerely appreciate you checking that out, thanks for checking this channel out. Stick around. We'll be posting again real, real soon.